Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is another voiceover, so I hope you don't mind, but let's go ahead and get started. We are making a creamy crock pot beef stroganoff meal today. I found a recipe online that I was inspired by and I will share that below because this one is very similar. I just kind of cut out a few things and changed a few other things, but um, anyways, I am grabbing my stew meat and I am just cutting it into smaller, smaller little pieces. I don't want such large chunks. I'm going to speed up this process, but this is all I'm doing, and this is probably close to two pounds of meat, and you just want to cut it up if that's what you choose to do. I've been trying my best for a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my face. My Next, I'm going to add some olive oil to my cast iron pan and I'm going to heat it up on high heat because I want to brown my meat before I put it into the crock pot. I'm just going to add some salt and pepper for seasonings. I'm not going to use anything else because some of the other ingredients will have enough flavor in themselves. So here's my meat. It is browned very nicely. I'm going to put it in the crock pot in just a few minutes but I did want to show you what it looks like kind of close up. Here I am dicing my onion. I used about half of a cup, maybe a little bit more than a half cup, but anyways, I'm just dicing it up and then I'm going to also add a green bell pepper. This is half of a green bell pepper that was left and I'm laughing because it just magically appeared on the counter. I think Ryan grabbed it and then put it back. So Now you're ready to add everything into your crock pot. So I already put the meat in there. I'm adding the green bell pepper and the onion. And I'm also going to use one can of cream of mushroom soup. And then I add a little bit of water um, into the pot after I put the soup in there. I just want to make sure I get everything from the can. And then I'm also going to use a packet of onion soup mix. I'm going to use the entire packet and then I use just about under one can full of water just to give it um, some more moisture. Mix it around well, and then I cook it on high for four hours. I'm gonna go with egg noodles, or this is the H-E-B version, it's pasta ribbons, and this is 16 ounces. I'm just gonna use about 12 ounces of pasta, and I'm just gonna cook it per the instructions. You just wanna bring it to a boil and cook it. I like to have it al dente. And then that is pretty easy. If you like to use rice, you can use rice. I'm sure that would be a good substitute if you don't want to use a pasta. So here's what it looks like after four hours. The meat is nice and tender. Everything is cooked really well together. I'm going to add half of a brick of cream cheese. And then I'm also going to add about eight ounces of sour cream. This is going to give it that creaminess and just give it extra goodness. <laughs> so I'm just gonna mix this nice and thoroughly and then I'm also gonna add some mushrooms. I'm not a huge mushroom fan, but I just feel like it couldn't be beef stroganoff without it. So I did add that. I'm just gonna cook it just for a few more minutes and then you're ready to go. So here I am plating it up. It smells delicious. I can't wait to eat it and I hope 
you enjoy it if you make it. So let me know below if you do, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. We're finally home. Down is up. We've been at the top. We're finally home. Let me lend you a hand.